yeah, morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Saturday, finally. Although in the summer, every day seems like the same. Two weeks and counting until Sophie's little baby Ollie comes, her little Ollie cat. Oh, that's kind of cute, Ollie cat, Ollie cat, get it? So Sophie, if you guys didn't see, we went tubing the other day and Sophie's still dying. She's literally dying from it. Apparently she does not ride with her arms as much as we thought because she's got no muscle in those babies. Why were you holding on so tight? You were, your body was wedged in there. You weren't going to fall out. Well, the thing. Well, I don't want to take any chance. <laughs> Sisters, like honestly, I'd be the same. My I would. Arms don't have <laughs> She's <laughs> got no oh, muscles. All right. Like your hair be looking cute. Oh, wavy, sun beachy. Ow! I didn't brush it. Yeah, we all know you didn't brush it. Gabby has gone bathing suit shopping with, with Kaylee because two bikinis in the summer is just not enough. She needs two more. Um, actually, no, there's a big sale on at the store, two for $50, so that's a really good deal. Sam has gone to buy us something crazy, like another tractory thing. Something he thinks he needs to fix our grass underneath all the fences. So he's gonna get that. I'll introduce you to the new member of the day-by-day -day tractor collection when he gets home. I'm actually super, I'm actually super energetic this morning. She's running around with it. She's like, I'm gonna take it away from Sophie. Um, I'm actually super excited to shoot a couple of videos that I've been waiting to shoot. I may have to kill that toy before I shoot them. Before I do that, I do wanna tell you guys about something, something that I have been meaning to tell you guys. This would make a great video for my Journey to Greatness channel, but I want all of you guys to hear it, and all of you guys don't follow me over there, so I wanna tell you guys how to read your dreams, how to tell your future, how to figure out what's gonna happen in your life before it happens. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and make it super brief because obviously this is a vlog, not a video. So you guys know that I always dream things and I always try and figure out what's gonna happen and it works for me about 80% of the time. I want you guys to be able to do that too. So this is what I do. I think about something that I want to know about my future. So let's say there's a job and I want it and it is working in a hospital. Let's just say that, you know, that's not true. So let's just say there's a job and I wanna work at it and it is in a hospital. Am I gonna get the job? But wait. First, I need to go back and tell you what I believe. I believe that before we even come down from heaven, before we are a baby and we are born on earth, I believe that we get together with God and we make a plan that God is all knowing and all loving and that as spirits, we want to try and achieve the same kind of thing. So we want to move up the ladder and spiritual growth. So before we are born, we get together with God and we say, God, this is what I want my spirit to learn. This is what I want to achieve. This is the love I want to, the love level I want to achieve this year, this life. This is the love level I want to achieve for my spirit. And so God and I make a plan. We plan who I'm going to be born to, all the experiences that I'm going to have to, to give me all the lessons I want to learn for the level that I want my spirit to grow. So we make this plan and then I'm born. But that plan is locked inside of me. It's locked inside of my spirit and you can access it. And this is how. So now that you know that, let's go back to the story of me wanting to get a job to work in the hospital. So I want this job so badly. I see it listed online and I think to myself, oh my gosh, is that the job for me? Now I'm going to engage my memory, my spirit memory, and see if the job is for me. And how I do that is I try it on exactly like if you were going to go shopping and buy a dress. You would go there, you would try it on, look, uh, walk around in the mirrors, do a twirl, see if you loved it, and then you would buy it. So how I do this is that I would pretend that I'm already in the job. I would pretend, I would daydream about the job. I would imagine me in the job. I would try and think of different scenarios. I would imagine me in my scrubs. I would imagine me with some coworkers at the nurse's station drinking coffee on a midnight shift. I would imagine um, me dealing with the trauma and the drama of a hospital setting. I would imagine all of those things and I would do it around the clock. I would imagine, I would just imagine them all. I would try on the job. And here is a big trick. Once you do that, if you're meant to be in that 
situation or if it's something that you plan to do before you came here so if it's already in stone if it's already written for you that you're gonna get this job when you imagine it and try it on and dream about it when you before you fall asleep at night you imagine all the things that entail with that job getting up in the morning um, all the things once you imagine all the things it will trigger a memory inside your body it will trigger a memory you guys have all had them before they're called deja vu we meet again it means we meet again so all those memories are inside your body and when you imagine and dream it and believe it and pretend that you're already living that life if you already plan to live that life that memory will be inside of you and you will have a deja vu and it can be tricky to figure out how to do it it can take a while to perfect it but after a time you will just start dreaming your deja vus like I dream every single night I dream things that are gonna happen in the future because I've accessed that part of my spirit so often that I just dream things all the time I have deja vu so many times I can be someplace and be like mm, that's gonna happen I know Know that this is gonna happen I can know the outcome because all of a sudden I'll get a deja vu and it will trigger um, because I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing the thing that I was meant to do the thing that I planned to do when I was in heaven so hopefully that is easy to understand and hopefully you guys can make sense of it obviously this is just what I believe and what works for me some of you guys will believe something similar some of you guys will believe something completely different and think I'm crazy and that's okay this is just what works for me and if it can help any single other person out there even just one person to live a better life or live a life with less fear or less confusion then I am all for it that is it that's my whole spiel if you want more information or if you have questions of course comment them below because you know I'm gonna always be in the comments and I'll answer them or I can make another video oh look at that so it looks like something tried to get in or did you not close it very well that's how it always is hey chicky chicks last night Gabby and Kaylee and Sophie ate a whole thing of celery that's all that's left and I cut it up Get your Don't throw them all crazy. Scare them. There's Molly over there. She's like, I'll scare them. Just tell me the word and I'll scare those chickens for you. Oh, they need more fresh water too. Um, maybe something did try and get in. With, why? What happened? Look in the thing. Uh-oh. A lot of feathers. And the thing's knocked over. What thing's knocked over? The bar? Yeah. And there's some egg broken. Oh. That's scary. All right. We'll have to get Dad to fix it today. We'll have anything trying to eat our chickens. At least they all live. Do you see any marks on anybody? No. All right, so I guess little Mr. Rooster there is still a hen. I think we have five hens. Because she still is not cock-a-doodle-doing, and they're still not laying. Only these two are laying. No, a white one and a brown. A white one and a brown one? Come on, you guys. Step up the egg production. Aw, look at her. Did you see that? She like was a little nervous, but she just stopped and put out herself so that you could pick her up easy. Sophie, you have a way with animals. Her chickens, her dogs, her what they do horses, what they her ponies. Uh, hi. I just they, love looking at chickens. What chickens do when they're scared? They go down low and they spread yeah wings. yeah but I mean they also run away so like that was really hey, cool they don't like celery so we just threw that all over there and they don't like or celery. because we're in here oh, wait watch they wait. don't eat when people are in here okay, just wait try it oh coming up close finally Hi. finally got used to us oh hello miss henny penny actually look there are chicken feathers everywhere that's scary so this was like sam's gonna have to fix it and there's a big stick in here so whatever it was came from the tree so for all those years that sam and i were believing and dreaming that we would get a farm one day he was always telling me about all the tractors he was gonna need he was gonna need a tractor for this and a tractor for that and i was always like one tractor do one that's all you get you all know how well that's been working out for me he already has two big tractors every month he seems to buy some kind of new attachment or new tractor type thing so today he traveled three hours round trip to buy a new tractor type thing. I thought it was something that was going to be attached to his big tractor so that he could cut all this grass 
underneath our fences because when our when the grass touches the fence it can short it out hi Gino hi happy boy you know there's a shelter there you can get out of the sun you guys may remember the rototiller big huge amazing rototiller that he convinced me he needed to buy that still sits in the same spot he took it off the truck So this, my friends, is the newest addition to the Day by Day Farm. It's a weed whacker on steroids. Yeah. And it's really expensive and Sam got a really good deal on it. Which is how he tricks me into buying all the stuff. I want Sam to have all the tools that he needs to help us run this little farm. And if that means having a yard filled with tractors, then that's what it means. Come here, Chino Bambino. Time to go. Time to go, handsome boy. Uh-oh, what happened to their fly masks? Why aren't they on? I love this horse, you guys. Absolutely love him. I, this horse and Johnny, if you guys remember Johnny, have taught me a love for thoroughbreds. A love for thoroughbreds that I never knew. I mean, I never really knew anything about them. But the amount of love and sweetness that is in a thoroughbred, hey, let's go is incredible like i've never met a thoroughbred that hasn't been so super sweet like so beautiful in their soul and these two boys are such best friends i feel so bad when we have to take chino away he always wants to be with finn always wants to be with him come on let's go so we're still transitioning chino back onto grass so uh, one thing that i do like though that he's not on grass full time is that he can still come into this paddock and still eat like all a full serving of hay that he would get for a whole day like we give him so much and he's eating the grass that sam just cut that he's not supposed to be eating it's one way that i know that he's getting enough he's getting a lot we're slowly upping his grain as well uh, that the vet told us that we could do and still he's a bit skinny not nearly as bad as he was that said he didn't look too bad skinny wise he was not too bad off that he'd rather him just grain some muscle which clearly we can't do because we can't ride in this extreme heat but the heat is getting better We're supposed to have a big huge thunderstorm this afternoon hey i wanted to tell you guys so sam's wearing one of our day by day shirts which i love um tell them what somebody bought recently a cookie shirt somebody bought a cookie dough shirt yeah somebody bought a cookie dough shirt from our merch and it warmed my heart when I saw that because it made me realize even more how much like some of you guys really love our animals the way that we love our animals and that just made me feel so happy. I'm going to buy one for Sophie and make it into a nightgown for her, buy extra big so she can always sleep with Cookie on her. Alright, so something you guys might not know about Canada what? is that you, on Friday, it. yesterday at noon, masks became mandatory so there is no shopping inside without a mask so we'll be wearing it now that they are mandatory we won't be able to pull them down like I have been able to in the past because they were not mandatory but now they're mandatory what is dad wearing what the heck are you wearing <laughs> yeah I do not think that's that's his work mask all right let's show the masks we got Kaylee we got Gabby we got Sophie of course <laughs> Gabby's the only one that I'm wears. I'm dressed in all black. I'm wearing black. Yeah. So I'm dressed in all black. All right. Let's go get some bathing suits. Hey, I want to make an observation. Evil and good. What about me? Sounds like it. Good. Bad for people who have to wear masks to work because I literally can't breathe. I'm an overheating. Nobody can tell if we're laughing at them though, so that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can tell you are by your eyes. I can tell you are by your eyes too. Make a mad face. Make a mad face. <laughs> Make a mad face. Yeah, that's evil. Make a mad face. I don't like mad faces. I just have my normal. <laughs> but she does have that. Gabby actually does have that. She looks mad and angry all the time, but she's not as much as she looks. Two free items when you buy one. Look at that bathing suit. I actually love it. So cute. So I got in and the girls are locked out. Cute. That one? No, you need a small. Do they not have smalls? It's really cute though. Both fit. You gotta try it on. You don't just pick one and then try it on. You're a small. Oops. Okay. I like the dark, the bright yellow better because 
it is. Here's one. I like this one. I just don't like this part. Gabby's signature color. I just don't like this part. Yeah, that's weird. I like, yeah. Um, I do like the one that you just showed me, Sophie. Groups, uh, that's a small. It'll fit uh, you. Kaylee's going for the bando type. Let me see. Where's that one you just showed me? All right, so Sophie likes this. I don't like it. You do like it? No. I don't like it. I like it. I think that's so super cute. Perfect. That's a shirt. This is D cup. I don't think that's the size for you. Bottom. I don't like it. All right, so this is the store that we went to. There was a sale on bathing suits. Buy one, get one free. So you can buy like a top and get the bottom free or whatever, right? And then when we went there, it was only the one shelf, one little small row of like all extra large or extra small bathing suits, nothing that would fit anybody. So we ended up getting ones that were not on sale, but wait till I show you. So this is Gabby's. I told her she should get a bright one. It's a little big, it's a size small. So I have to sew it for her. It's the only one they had in the whole store. So this is the one she got. I think it's cute. She's gonna wear it with her black bottoms or her brown bottoms, maybe, I don't know. But Sophie got this one. It's uh, like a navy blue and then a bright orange and blue. This is the shirt. It's like a tankini. I wanna try something. And hers is a size medium. It fits her beautifully. And these are the bottoms. Whoops, dropping them. Oh, actually, these are the bottoms. Got a got a little thing on the front. I think these are size medium too. Yeah, size medium. Anyways, it's so super cute. The button covers her whole entire bum. Like you know how some of them are designed so that half your cheek hangs out. These fit really good. Really, really cute. It'll probably last her like this year and next year. Like so super cute on her. I can't wait till she wears it. So yeah, we're ready for you beaches. It's actually gorgeous out here. It's hot if you're busy doing stuff, but there's this glorious breeze and the heat wave is gone. So I want to show you guys something that is so outrageous. You're not going to believe it. This is like the best thing that ever happened to me. I was complaining all morning about Sam going and getting more junk all the time. But once I realized what this little machine that he got can do, I took it over and made it my own. And I have been clearing all the land. Isn't that amazing? Like I cleared all this. I cleared some down there. Like you can see a little trail. But by the end of tomorrow, I plan to tr clear all this junk out. Isn't it cool? Like I cleared all this whole section, all that whole section. If you guys have been following me along at all, then you will know my biggest things about this farm that I hate that make me want to move are that it's so close to the road. I, I don't really like that it's all flat, even though I kind of like that it's all flat, like no trees, I mean. I kind of like a few more trees for shade. Um, and this, this has always been the biggest eyesore, worse than our poop pile and God has found a way for me to be able to control it and get rid of it. Yeah, but the only problem is I broke it. Sam went to go get me gas. I broke it. Basically, it's a weed whacker or it's a bush hog, a portable bush hog, and I could just push it around like a lawnmower and cut all this stuff, but I did break it, so. I think God's telling me to take a break for today. Yeah, cheap. Do you have more of this stuff? Oh, phew. All right, hook it back up and I'll keep going. We're gonna do new bathing suit model do you guys know how to model walk all right here we go bathing suit new bathing suit number one miss kaylee is sporting this gorgeous teal bandeau style bathing suit let's see the back it's a tube top it's a tube top lace but i have to tuck it in because they're really long oh it's lace yeah, super cute there on her. gabby i finally got herself some color and she got a beautiful yellow trademark color this material is so super cool. She's matched it with her uh, brown, ones. brown bottom. Because my black ones are soaking wet. Are still soaking wet. Super cute, loving it. And Sophie be looking gorgeous. Wow, okay, turn around to the back. Ruby. Ruby, you're not in this. And that's the back. I love her bathing suit top, or bottom. So awesome. Love it, you guys look so gorgeous. Are you proud of it? Do you yeah, I really like it too. So also Sophie's excited because she can tuck this up into the top. That is not why I'm excited. Okay, well, that's an extra special. I'm excited because I like it. Yeah, are you guys going swimming? Yes. 
Yeah, it's hot up. Do you want me to come down there with you or you guys think you can hack it? Molly, we'll okay. just go by ourselves. All right, good. Don't break anything. We can't, can't promise that. <laughs> uh oh, Gabby's Sophie's turning into a sassy girl. Don't you know that you're beautiful?